All right, guys, this is it right here. Um, this is the shop. Um, we're starting to downgrade, get rid of a lot of this stuff. These uh, shelves, everything's got to come down. So that's what we're going to be working, um, working with, trying to get all cleaned up tonight. We got to go through, take all the shelves out. There's going to be a lot of lumber that go burns, but. This was a front porch when we first started our journey. And um, now it's time for everything to come down and move on with life and start a new journey, which we're going to, which we're going to absolutely love the new journey. So I want to thank each and every one of y'all for following along. And um, it's kind of bittersweet. You know, this is where it all started right here. Um, rustic woodworking family. You know, it's thanks to y'all, each and every one of y'all subscribers for watching our videos and just, just showing y'all's interest into our family and just loving and caring. Um, and y'all made this happen for us. And um, we can't thank y'all enough. We're super excited to get a move out to the country um, you know, we own 17 half acres now and we have nothing to thank but for y'all uh, being interested in our lives and following our dreams and y'all helping us make our dreams come true. So I'm just kind of show everything in the building before it all goes. There's a lot of it's just trash. A lot of stuff we're going to be um, actually um, we're going to actually be putting in the garage sale and once we get back out there i'll start over and um and just kind of go from there so guys i hope y'all enjoy this video i don't know where we're going to put it it may go to the members i may put it in a full one but i just want y'all to know that thank y'all from the deep bottom of our hearts <clears throat> for all the support y'all show to our channel and um we can't thank y'all enough so hope y'all enjoy All right, guys, so this is all the lumber we've brought out side, and we are burning and trying to get rid of some of this stuff so we can get everything clean. It is definitely um, a very, very hot barrel. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Sherman, uh, Josh from Sherman Produce actually brought me the barrel over tonight to help me out, so... Um, we're trying to get out of here. Our deadline to get out is the 19th. That's the day I'm shooting for is the 19th. So hopefully we make it.
Alright guys, it's the second day since I started cleaning up on the shop. Um, it's a very sad day. Um, you know, as you can see, I did a time lapse of our, our shop cleaning. The All the shelves are gone. Um, this picture's been up here ever since we, we added on to the shop and uh, started building the wooden American flags. You know, this is where we actually started. But um, as many of y'all know that this is where my YouTube um, world started right here in front of this door. Um, you know, a good friend of mine, uh, Brian McGill engraved the rustic woodworking family. And then he also gave me these other two things here. Um, it's just kind of a, it's sad, but I'm happy that we're moving on in life and, um, uh, better things are coming our way and it, you know it's just we we owe it to each and every one of y'all for all the support y'all show to our channel it's absolutely amazing and uh, i just wanted to stop and take a break and just kind of uh, make a little video i guess because um, one of these days we'll look back and we'll appreciate all these things so Anyways, it, there's going to be a time lapse of this dirty, dirty shop. I had, oh my goodness, there is no telling how many hundreds of screws I've actually got on the ground. And what reason I say on the ground is all those shelves I uh, was taking apart and uh, just saving the screws. Them screws get very expensive, so might as well do that. But anyways, this is the next chore I'm going to start tackling right here. So I hope you all have a great day. guys so steph's at the laundromat we just got the truck loaded with all the wood we're going to take that out here in a bit i'm actually going back here and taking out our tomato plants i did shoot a little bit of footage of that and then uh, once i get everything done uh, we'll do an overall picture we'll be moving the chickens here in the next few days so that's all got to come down most of this is all trash so we're just going to take one step at a time So I'm gonna go run up here and throw some of these boards in the trash. Let them burn. I know the wind's pretty windy, but uh, we're gonna get through the day. Steph's trying to get all the laundry done. That way when we put it up, when we put it up, it's all clean. It's gonna be stored there in the back. So, or in the storage building and from there we'll just see uh how it goes like i say a lot of this is all new to us so we're going to just kind of learn as we go we will actually put all the stuff in this and move it out. stuff a little expensive Yeah. 
It's crazy all this is coming down now. Spent all that time to build it, but it's kind of a bittersweet deal, you know? Um, we're definitely gonna miss this place. This is where we raised the kids. And yeah, it's a, a better, uh, I don't know, we'll just never forget this place. Guys, we're making some leadway. Um, we're getting everything loaded up. All right, guys, so we made that to the property. Um, I've got, got the wood out here. I'm going to take the straps off, and I'm actually going to uh, toss up all the wood over here. And... Um, the pieces that I need, I, I can actually pick them out. The other little pieces, they'll go up once we burn this brush pile. So let's go ahead and take the straps off, and then we'll get tobacco over here and do it the easy way. All right, so we're going to walk over here and get the backhoe, and then we'll bring it over here, unload that. And then we got to go back into town. We got to go get a, uh, a Poe. I found a Poe earlier uh, today. Uh, so we're going to load that up. We'll bring it back out here. And then we'll probably go ahead and bring a little bit of the stuff out here this evening. I know we're going to attempt to try to finish the roof, hopefully. Now, as you can see, we still haven't got any further than we was the other day but I know how to do it now um, Crandall actually um, did this one side for me so it kind of teach me how to do it so it all worked out it all worked out in the long run So we got that unloaded. I guess we need to get back to town. And uh, actually I gotta come over here and unload some other stuff over here by the storage building. And uh, I was kind of looking at that pond. It's, it's pretty dry now. So I may be able to get on the inside and do a little bit of digging on that as well. Um, I may try to get some of that. Uh, uh, the sheriff said his brother had some of that stuff to actual seal ponds. So I may, Get a hold of him and see if I can get a couple. All right, he said, I think he said it has six, seven bags, so we might go get that. All right, so I've got the trailer hooked on to here. Uh, Paul brought it over this morning and I already put swing and stuff in it, so I went ahead and switched out trailers. I'm gonna get the stuff that's back here in the back and we'll put it inside the trailer. That way we can actually take it out to the property. Um, the other stuff inside the house, we'll probably wait to put it in an actual enclosed trailer. Um, that way it can stay out there. Uh, a lot of this stuff is just junk and some of it will go inside, but most of it will be outside. So that's what we're gonna do for now. So 
So just to ever, let everyone know, the fifth wheel that's behind our car is not what we're going to be living in. Ours is um, out at Marie's, and uh, we'll be moving that in today. Um, we don't have very much to go um, left here at the house. So um, I plan on being out of here in the next, I'd say, by noon. And uh, we'll just go from there. Um, it's been, it's took a lot longer than what I expected, but you know, we'll see, we'll finish it up. Um, we've got all the bedrooms broke down, everything back here, so. All right guys, so we have got the trailer completely loaded. Um, me and Steph just came out and loaded the rabbits and we got the rabbit pen loaded. So we'll have to come back and get the chicken pen but the rabbit pins loaded. We got the rabbits loaded and then we'll be back to get Max. Um, like a lot of this stuff, this is all outside stuff. So we're going to hurry up and get the rabbits out there because they don't play good together. So if we can get them out there and get them back in their pins, nobody, hopefully nobody gets hurt. So we have made it back to the property with our first load of animals that are at the house. So um, we're going to drop these uh, rabbits off and then we're going to go back uh, to the house and get the chickens. And then after that, we will, I've got to come up here and fix this gate. The kids come up here and bounce up and down and it makes it drag the gate. But um, we'll get all that out here and tonight will be the first night out at a property. So we'll see how it goes. Finally made it back out here and um, Looks like they got back into the the. Uh, we're going to we're going to we're gonna try to finish the door. Looks like they got back in there. I don't know if you can see it very well, but um, obviously we got to seal it up really good today because we, well we'll be out here so it, it will uh, help a lot that way. So we're gonna unload the rabbit pin and we're gonna put it over here and then. Um, We'll just see how it goes from there. Well, we've got to get us some our mics charged up and we'll we'll eventually get everything out here and get it set up so we can start recording right um, obviously now that we're out here we'll be able to do a lot more recording we'll be out here 24 7 so um, most of all i want to thank y'all for following us along our journey i will say it's going to be rough these next few weeks um we're in the process of trying to get water but we'll see what happens so we're going to go ahead and finish this up we're going to take the computer desk that the animals are trying to take over and we're going to put it inside and then we're going to go back uh to the house and get some more stuff and we'll be back so so we'll get in here and get this stuff cleaned up as soon as we get everything out here and get you know just get everything sorted out and put it to where it needs to go 
that things will be a lot better once we get out here. Like I say, I've got the the electric line coming in pretty good. I just got to get that buried. Um, hopefully, the water comes soon. So this is definitely going to be a new experience for us. We're just going to take it one day at a time, and we're going to bring y'all along with us. This is the machine we made our shirts out of with and stencils. So here's the deal guys, our merch, our shirts and stuff, they are off the website for right now. Until we get all situated, every, our website is shut down. I uh, hated to do it, but I don't want orders to come in and we can't get them filled. So that's that's what's going on with it right now. So we went next door. We're gonna borrow a tractor from our landlord, Paul. And y'all should see Brandon on this tractor. It looks like a toy tractor compared to the backhoe and Williams tractor that he uses. But this one, it looks like a little toy. Like little, I don't even know what, but it's so cute. <laughs> trailer but it's on there we just get it we'll drive slow and try to keep it on we'll see how how scared the chickens are when we get them out
good work to it. A lot of work to it, but it sat at that house for so long and we just kind of pieced it together. So it's done its job for a long time. We need to get that piece out of there. Mm -hmm. So we need to get that piece out of there. There's your new home, boys and girls. Oh, boy and girl. What do y'all think? Huh? So these are the five we have left, Alex Cody. We ordered 20 of these baby chicks, oh, probably about two years ago, two and a half years ago. And these are the five that we have left out of the 20. So, now that we're out in the country, we can build some more pens and raise a bunch more baby chicks. I'm super excited about that. I didn't sell my incubators. My incubators are in there. They're waiting, they're ready. And uh, as soon as we get settled in and I get a few eggs, hey, I'm gonna start hatching them. I might even have to go up to uh, the Walker Farm fan. I might have to go rob their farm, but I'm gonna come up with some eggs one way or another. So anyways, if y'all have any uh, special chicken eggs, um, most definitely send them this way because I'm gonna get back to hatching them here soon. Um, we gotta take another trip back in town to get Max's pen and uh, we'll get him moved out here. So that's the next trip. So we'll see you in town. All right, guys, so we have made it back to the proper, or to the house. As you see, the chicken coop's gone. The rabbit pen's gone. And now we got the dog pen. Now we got to get the dog pen and then that's it. The rest of it will go in the blue dump. Um, and then we got a few things in the house. We got to get the ice box and a freezer, and we'll be good to go. And the Dr. Pepper is in the ice box or freezer. I just thought of that. That's why I couldn't find it. Yeah. I was gonna steal a drink earlier. And so, anyways, this is pretty close to our last um, load. Um, thank goodness. Sounds like our water plant might be on fire so they may be out of the water and we got water out well yeah i don't know but anyways thank y'all so much for watching um i know these little clips are coming in and out uh we're just filming when we can just kind of bring y'all along and kind of show you we'll go in and, and record the house um as soon as we get this all loaded up that way we can have memories of the house when we first moved in so at it though you can see like these areas right here up here on the top how we kind of have them like that that's because Harley broke through all of that he shouldn't have been able to but he did he was just scared one night and then there was another place over here Hey, that's what get him. That's what I have.
have to have a hooper scooper for Max out there because it, it's not concrete. I can't afford that. I can't afford to put concrete in. This right here is Layton's bedroom. Like I said earlier, this is Brandon and my bedroom. This was Layton's bedroom as well. And then this is the window where Skittles slept right there for the longest time and would knock on the window for the girls to let them in. And they would let her in. But, see, so he even got his Pico. I do too. Why are they sending us a new one? To upgrade. Hmm. Uh, you see my ranch? Can Sissy? Cool. Hold that for daddy. It's poop. All right, guys. All right, guys. So we just got our draft off the wall. Um, that's our water hose. Um, we got uh, Max's pen. Unfortunately, the slabs got to stay. Um, I wish we could take it because uh, that cost me about five hundred dollars to get poured, and we're probably going to wait on that for a little while. Uh, we try to clean up this the best we could. Uh, the chicken coop. Um, we got all the trash and stuff. I got the tractor and come in here and try to level it out a little bit. That way there wasn't just all kinds of holes and stuff. Um, it's, I mean, did the best I could. I know they're, they'll probably come in with grass or something like that. But I want to leave it to where it's nice. And I mean, I don't want to leave it all dirty and stuff. I know they're going to be remodeling it, but still... I want to do my part and make sure I clean up. And um, we're fixing to take a walk through the house and show you what the house looks like. And really a lot of this is just for memories, just uh, so we can have it with the kids when they get older and show them the house they grew up in. So let's go in here and take a look. All right guys, this is it. We have got everything out of the um, house. This is the house that we showed up to 10 years ago with me, Stephanie, and a baby six one. Six-month-old Layton. Yeah, six-month-old Layton. Um, this wall wasn't here. This was all an open, long porch. And if I can find a picture, I'll show you. I'll, I'll post it somewhere right up in here. But, um, yeah, it's crazy how everything's worked out. Um, we're super excited about the new journey so i'm glad that y'all are following us along we didn't record a bunch of the packing and stuff but there was a bunch there was a bunch we've been doing this for the last six days and outrageous how much stuff we had when we moved into this house we had maybe two suitcases full of clothes with uh layton and then the rest we only had very few clothes and it's unreal what we have gained throughout the years. So we're going to go ahead and walk in and kind of do a last minute tour before we leave. You remember this, Steph? I remember. The entertainment center was actually over there. Yeah, it was hiding this very ugly Yeah. Box. We, um... Uh, we actually moved that about four years ago. Um, Somewhere I wish we would have left it over here. 
But yeah. I like the windows. Yeah. I like windows. And so. then they added this cord um, to what? Give you extra Wi-Fi or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Because you have that one already. And you can tell where the furniture is, uh, this carpet. I mean, we, we used a carpet cleaner quite regular uh, up until the last probably six months. Um, we knew we was moving and um, Paul and them told us that they was going to strip this whole house and uh, remodel it. So This was just about our only source of heat. We have another one back here that we'll show you in a minute, but this is the one we it had four burners and if it got like snow cold, we usually had four burners going. But besides that, it, it, it kept this small house pretty warm. Then you got the dining room right here. It has never been, it has never been a dining room since we have lived in this house. We moved in and Layton, he had his own bedroom, but we made this his playroom. Just mainly, I don't think we had a kitchen table. No. We I don't just think so. he had a high chair and we have the chairs. And this was his big playroom. Yeah, this was his playroom. We had this door has been blocked off ever since we moved in. We've had um, the blanket box. We've had the couch, part of the couch, the sectional that didn't fit in the living room. We've had the dressers. We've had everything because I love to rearrange. And whenever I rearrange, something else blocks that door so no one can get in. Right. I've been there for 10 years and, um, you know, kids are going to be kids. But, yeah, so. Here, let me take you to the laundry room. Oh, we're here. So, we got the laundry room inside the kitchen. And that's pretty much it for in here. We had a lot in here. We had the deep freeze, the refrigerator. Our kitchen table. Here's our hallway. Then we have mom and dad's room. We have the bathroom. And then we have the kids' room. This is probably the worst room, but this has had all four kids in it. Happy birthday. Yeah, all four kids have been in this room, and I believe before our kids, um, it was there's where Layton um, did his uh, growing board, and we had some somewhere, but I don't know where we actually. We're going to do some a little bit things a little bit different at the new house. We're going to kind of do what Cassie and Gary does. Um, Gary and Cassie. Um, this was the bathroom cabinets, and it was so hard with the uh, the doors that we had to cut them down because the house would shift and the doors wouldn't close. And it still doesn't close. Yeah. Just because of the ground shifting and stuff. The cleanest room in the house, kind of. It's got the cleanest carpet, but that may be because our king size bed pretty much filled up this room. I don't understand the whole mirror in the bedrooms and in the bathroom. I just, full length mirrors, I will say I don't like. And there's the shop. <laughs> yeah, that's where I painted all the flags. Every night he'd have it loud blasting, but it didn't bother me. I could sleep through anything. And that's just about it. There's the glass to the coffee table that we had that was in this when we moved in yeah all right oh here i said i was going to show the other heater this one has not worked and i can't even say how long nine years yeah it's yeah 
we tried we replaced some things in it and it just never never did work so yeah that's it so guys the, it's crazy it's it's over and we're moving on to lots of going out bigger and better things maybe smaller and better <laughs> Oh, we can't forget this. Cassie wouldn't like that if we forgot this. Oh, yeah. That's been in our house for almost 10 years also. 10 years. Oh, I don't know if it's going to come off. Oh, there it is. There used to be two. Don't rip it. That's how long it's been here. It's supposed to be magnet. There it is. It's been there 10 years. How about those cowboys? Where'd that grill go? Uh, leave it here. Oh, was it not yours? Uh, let's call it We took all of our tools out to the property, so we could not, we could not, uh, we didn't have a drill, so I borrowed Paul's drill. This is where we got a second chance of life, and, and, uh, you know, it just goes to show you that just because you mess up when you're young doesn't mean you can't overcome something. Um, I will tell you this much that um, I work for Paul and Mona at p and Wrecker, which is right down here, went their old shop when I was a kid. And that's back when I drank a lot of beer and did a lot of partying and I would come to work and I would get into it with Paul. Uh, we'd get in a fight and um, he would end up, uh, I'd end up quitting or he would end up firing me. He'd always have to come and get the clothes and all that and return them back. And I uh, did that three or four times. And, um, you know, 10 years ago, we came back to Sulphur or Davis and didn't have a job. We had a baby, no job. Um, I just dealt with workman's comp and um, I went to Paul's new shop and asked him if he had a job. And he said, well, we got a firecracker stand coming up if y'all be interested in running it. So me and Steph stayed, we was a super excited because hey, we had somewhere to stay. There was a camper behind the firecracker stand and that was our home. So I guess we we have stayed in a uh, travel trailer before. Um, and after that, Paul said that he had this house available and he brought us down here and we thought this was a mansion back then. Um, going for nothing, going from nothing to having a home, this was awesome, but we have grown. You know, sometimes people just gotta have a little head start and they gave us a jump start and we took it and this is where we're at today. We just purchased 17 and a half acres and we're super excited about it. And we're ready for a new home and we're bringing y'all along to follow us. So hope each and every one y'all enjoy. There's the key, there's that. And we are out of here. Turn the lights out. We're going to lock the door. This is hard. This is it, boys and girls. That's it. There's no more. We don't have a key to it. Yep. Moving on to a new home. You ready? We'll never come back to this house. We'll never be back here again. What about this? That stays. That's not ours. Everything that we got is gone. And we're at, at our new place. Well, we need to take our bike. Huh? We need to take our new bike. I got your bike already. All right? All right. Good night, guys. Hope you have a wonderful night.